Okay then my friends, so sometimes we want an element to transition through several different animations in turn. We might want it to go left then right then left then right etc. And to do this we can use what's known as keyframes. Now to demo this I'm going to make a variant object for the button that we use down here so that we can apply all of those properties up inside that variant object instead of down here in the JSX template. So let me first of all say const and I'm going to call this button variance. You don't have to call it this, you can call it what you want. And inside here, we're going to have a hover property, which again, you can call what you want. There's no hard, fast rule to call it hover, but I'm calling it hover because these are the properties will animate when we hover over the element. Now, I want to grab these things right here, which are currently inside while hover, and cut them and paste them over here. Scoot these back in, and then we can add a variance attribute to this button and set that equal to whatever this object is called, button variance. So I'll copy that and paste it in. And then while hover will now be a string instead to equal whatever object I want to apply for the animation when I hover over this button. So that is going to be the hover property. Okay, so let's save this and make sure it still works on the home page. I can hover over this and the hover animation still works. Awesome. Okay, so I'm also going to add a visible property right here and I'm going to apply this to be, if I come down here, the animate attribute. So that's going to be visible. So we're also now going to animate this when it first loads on the screen. Now the first thing I want to do is just add a transition property to this so I can delay the animation so we can easily see it and it's going to be delayed by two seconds. And I also want to animate the X coordinate and that is going to go to about minus 20. Okay, so if I save this now, we should see after a couple of seconds, it move to the left. We didn't see that very much because I stupidly hovered over the button, but you can see there, it went to the left by 20 pixels. So that's fine, but what if I then want to move it back to the right and then left again and then right? How do I do that? Well, we can use what's known as keyframes. Now to do that, we use an array and each value in here is a different keyframe. So if I wanna go from position zero to minus 20, back to positive 20, and then to minus 20 again, and then to positive 20, and then back to zero, each one of these values represents a different keyframe and it's gonna animate each one of these in turn. So if I save this and preview, then we should see it go left and right like that. Awesome. So that works. Now, I don't want to do that because that's a pretty crappy animation just when it first loads. But what I would like to do is repeat this animation several times when we hover over it. So it goes bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. So let's use keyframes to do that. Now, I'm going to comment out this right here because, in fact, we'll just delete it because we don't want that anymore. And we'll delete this down here. And instead we'll apply keyframes to this thing right here, the scale. So let me say inside an array that to begin with, we're gonna start off with a scale of one, its initial scale. Then it's gonna to go to 1.1, 1 .1, then one, then 1.1, then one, then 1.1, and then finally one. I think I've done that correctly. So if we save this and preview and come over here, now we get those keyframes taking effect. So that, my friends, is how we apply keyframes to different animation properties. Now, this is cool, but what if I want this button to repeat this kind of pulsing animation indefinitely instead of just these few times that we supply keyframes for? Well, we'll see how to do that in the next lesson.